yoga and spondylitis. Modern lifestyle is very much responsible for spondylitis. Basically, we talk about cervical spondylitis, where we look down, read, write, and we don't release our spinal tension. So very often, when person is looking down and working, I would strongly recommend that person should look up every hour, look up so that the muscle tension is released and person will not get into this spondylitis problem. Once spondylitis problem is there, whole shoulder is tight, head is tight, neck is tight, all your movements are disturbed and you are under pain. So let's reduce that, let's prevent this problem. And for that, there is very good asana in yoga, where you lie down on your stomach and lift your head up. Now, this is an asana which is called as bhujangasana. And uh, that also should be performed very regularly. Of course, with empty stomach, but person can do four times in a day before eating food, if he is in the house, if he can lie down. Otherwise, at least twice a day, because whole day we are looking down. But to get the benefit of bhujangasana, even standing and bending little back, or sitting on a chair and bending little back, or looking up, would work wonders. So we should learn from these asanas and apply these asanas into our day-to-day -day routines. Not just performing uh, before food, but day-to-day -day routine wise, when you are working, look up, look at the ceiling. Such habit if we form, we would always prevent spondylitis problem and that pain and ache because of that. So try that out. Bhujangasana is performed while lying down. Sit in Sukhasana. Slowly lower your body to the ground and lie on your stomach. Keep your palms close to the chest, facing downward. Your elbows should be pointing towards the ceiling and your forehead should be touching the floor. Make sure your toes and heels are touching each other. As you inhale, Lift your head, chest and shoulder off the ground. Hold your breath for a while. Exhaling, slowly come down. Relax. Using your hands for support, Come back to Sukhasan. Let us perform the pose again. 